Good morning students, I am Arvik Kesar. Just I take the subject of physics today for your class 7th standard. So in physics, we are just going to discuss the topic wind, storm and cyclones. One topic is there, wind, storms and cyclones. In this week, we are just only discuss about the wind. First of all, you go to the topic wind. What is by wind? So wind means gentle flow of air. A breeze in Chulwanga, tendril in Chulwanga. The wind means gentle flow of air is called wind. Okay. The air has certain properties. Air already has some pressure. So air exert pressure means what are the different experiments to show air exert pressure. Now we will just observe the video. Air exerts pressure in so many experiments. Can with hot and cold water. One. Blowing of paper ball inside the bottle. Two. Blowing between the two balloons. Then the balloons are closer together. Third, water level rises from the bottom. So these are all certain experiments proved air exerts pressure. Now the first experiment, just very first experiment, we will enter into this video. Before to go to this topic, first video. In general concept is, if we just consider the air. Air what? It doing the simple Concepts, explanations. The leaves are just shedding from the branches due to air pressure. Kite or is, kites are flying, that is only due to air pressure. The flags are moving here and there, that only due to air pressure. These are all simple concepts based on air pressure. In next concept, some complicated concept. Next video, it explained this video he explained going to explain the can with the hot and cold water. If the can is in the hot water and cold water, what happened? First, these two persons take some materials. One is that the glass bowl, big glass bowl, and another glass tumbler. Next, one metal can. So, glass bowl, glass tumbler, metal can. Glass tumbler full of water, he just poured inside the bowl. This is ordinary cold water. Next, one more tumbler filled with water, he just filled the empty can, that is Coca-Cola can like that. After filling the water in the can, keep it on the stove, switch on the stove, it just attains the heat energy, automatically boiled. Then immediately if you place the hot can inside the cold water, it is crumbled or smashed or distorted. Why? What is the reason? Hot water doing the concept of expansion inside the can while heating air water expand expansion concept next if you place immediately the cold water it is contracted inside the can the steam inside the can condenses the water then pressure will be reduced if the pressure reduced automatically steam condenses the water if steam condenses water pressure will be reduced inside the can outside the can pressure is more it just crushed crumbled so only smashed this is the best example for the air exerts pressure. Next experiment. Next experiment. May before to go to this experiment, I explain this. Let us now try to explain why the can gets distorted. As water is poured over the can, some steam in the can condenses water, reducing the amount of air inside. Then the pressure of air inside the can decreases, and the pressure excited by the air from outside the can. As a result, the can gets compressed. Okay, inside air reduce the pressure. Outside air pressure is more. That presses. And what happened? That is a crushed. Next experiment. A boy just blowing the okay paper balloon inside the water bottle. Here, take one paper just crumbled it into small pieces just like a ball next you insert this paper ball into the bottle okay insert the paper ball into the bottle generally if you apply more force more force through the mouth of the bottle then the speed of the air from the mouth will be more if the air just rushes the high speed that is a low pressure reduce pressure then inside the air just goes inside is high pressure low speed mostly if you just blow the balloon then the balloon try the ball that 
who try to fell down the bottle but not like that instead of that the ball just uh, comes out why what is the reason whenever if you apply some other high speed air through the bottle okay the inside air has high pressure that pushes opposes the ball movement so only the high pressure air inside the bottle pushes the ball outside so outside the mouth of the bottle high speed low pressure inside the bottle okay high pressure low speed so the high pressurized air inside the bottle pushes the ball outside this is only the reason next one more example in this example the air exerts certain pressure just to prove clearly take two balloons filled with water both are same size so pour water in both the balloons both the balloons are tied in a stick now if you just to place your face in between the balloons it just blow with the high speed air it just blow with the high speed air if the speed is high pressure is low in between the balloons pressure is low and outside the pressure the pressure will be more then it pushes the balloon towards each other so if you blow the balloon in between the balloons if you blow the air with the high speed pressure will be reduced then outside then outside pressure will be more pushes the balloons pushes the balloons the balloons are towards each other okay so this will be explained here the pressure of air between the balloon where somewhere how we reduced the pressure outside the balloon would then push them towards each other okay pressure in between the balloons be reduced with the high speed outside the balloon pressure will be more then automatically two balls are close together next one example the water extract from bottom to top how see this explain what are the materials required one bottle and one knife take one plastic coca cola bottle like that and put the hole using knife but the knife if you put the hole through the knife at least its diameter should be equal to the straw size for what purpose you insert the, put the hole you want to insert the straw inside the bottle so according to the size of the straw you just put the hole in the bottle so after you put the hole you take one straw 3/4 1/4 1/4 like that you bend or speed the bending straw like that the mouth part is a 3/4 and the inside part is a 1/4 so the 1/4 part is inserted through the bottle 3/4 is just a stretched outside and fix using quick fix or we call the straw with the bottle you just paste it then only it is not not detached from this now the bottle is ready next he just is ready to take the one tumbler the glass tumbler is full of water for the coloring matter he just took some ink he just spray ink by using syringe for coloring matter then only it is very nice so after preparing the liquids in the tumbler now he is ready to place the can near the tumbler so the tumbler full of ink the tumbler ink for everything just to pour into bottle and close it now again he just open the bottle some air is already inside instead of the cap he replace the the inflated balloon near the mouth of the bottle the mouth of the balloon is tied with the the mouth of the ink bottle now what happen is just wait and see so if the mouth of the balloon is attached to the mouth of the bottle the balloon is just shaking and the ink is extracted from the bottom to top what principle is used here if you just close anything the air there is no air at all vacuum the air places the replaced by water so only the ink just extracted and fell down inside the tumbler this also some air exerts some pressures like that next clip you go to the next clip at last the cycling the t- 
tire bursting of tire bursting of tube also air exerts pressure so for that only i just uh, given some examples the bursting of tire also example for air exert pressure next these are all based on what principle bernoulli's theorem what is the bernoulli's theorem bernoulli's theorem states that pressure and there is a relation between pressure and speed so the pressure is inversely proportional to speed what is inversely proportional if pressure increases speed decreases pressure decreases speed increases speed increases so pressure and speed are inversely proportional inverse process in all places so far different places we discussed in everything the pressure okay for example blowing of the paper ball inside the bottle outside low pressure high speed inside the bottle high pressure low speed in between the balloon if you blow the air the in between the balloon the pressure is low high speed air is high speed but outside the low speed high pressure okay so in all cases in the first cases the can crumbled inside the can pressure is reduced with low speed outside the can pressure is more the high speed so in all cases pressure and speed are inversely proportional if pressure is high speed is low if speed is high pressure is low like that this is called bernoulli's theorem based on this so many applications are there the five applications you know first application on the blackboard is aerofoil the flying of aeroplane first application very first application is flying of aeroplane working of aeroplane second action of atomizer or sprayer heat sprayer like that blowing of rose at the rimo strong gunzen banner in the chemistry lab attraction between two boats two parallel boats in the race these five more ex applications of bernoulli's theorem once again i just to explain okay the application of bernoulli's theorem is the five application in addition one more application is there that is called ping pong ball here five applications they wrote on the blackboard first application working of aeroplane second application action of atomizer third application blowing of rose at the rimo strong bunsen banner the chemistry lab attractive between two parallel vehicles or cars at the time of race how one by one we will just observe what's the first application aerofoil so in aerofoil what's the design what type of designing mostly in aeroplane top portion of the plane is a curved just like a fish the bottom portion of the aeroplane is a flat why the top portion contains air which has high speed low pressure the top of the aeroplane curved portion has a the air as high speed and low pressure than at the bottom the bottom is a more flat surface then pressure is more at the bottom so high pressure air at the bottom pushes the aeroplane automatically aeroplane will lift so low pressure high speed air is at the top high pressure low speed air is at the bottom of the aeroplane so only it lift up one direction there is one application next application next application here just to explain the wings of an aeroplane are so designed that upper surface is more curved than the lower surface and as the aircraft moves the air moves faster above the aerofoil than at the bottom according to bernoulli's principle pressure air pressure of air below the air is greater than the above which creates a thrust is called a dynamic lift to the aircraft okay the pressure of the air at the bottom is high so it is just lift the aeroplane next application the blowing of roof at the time of storm in cyclonic condition the upper part of the hut houses only roof it is just blown off immediately without giving any damage to the building without giving any damage to the building at the time of cyclonic condition cyclonic condition okay the blowing of roof only the air is low pressure air is low pressure okay see here air is low pressure high speed at the top of the roof high pressure low speed only at the bottom of the roof so in the hot houses the bottom of the roof contains high pressure top of the roof contains low pressure so the high pressure air pushes the roof so only the cyclonic condition the roof is blowing then it does not give any damage to the building okay damage to the building 
that only explained here next atomizer of sprayer you know the hit scent dew okay so many uh, scent bottles are there and the sanitizer bottles are there okay and next hit like that so many uh, bottles are there and even pesticide sprayers are there so in all places in our days the sprayers are used the sprayers pierce the waters into droplets like that here natomizer this is a tube okay the tube just a spray one more nozzle is there so the nozzle when lift valve lifted upwards the liquid rushes up into bottom and passes through cylinder okay here the inside the tube low pressure high velocity low pressure high velocity atmospheric pressure is high pressure low velocity so whenever you just press the button what happen the nozzle valve open that is lift up liquid rushes at the bottom and passes through cylinder so the low pressure high speed enter and passes outside this is the only example for atomizer or sprayer atomizer or sprayer next clip this is the visit application for bernoulli theorem this is the atomizer diagram next atomizer diagram here given the nozzle valve is lifted up due to high pressure the fuel entering at the bottom of the valve and the fuel is injected with the cylinder through the nozzle okay the fuel is injected through cylinder through the nozzle just observe this ready next application bunsen flame how the bunsen flame you already seen the bunsen flame chemistry lab just like a gas stove how is it possible to bring the flame in few centimeters means whenever you just switch on the gas stove the gases rushes out from the nozzle with high speed low pressure then immediately atmospheric air enter the high pressure low speed so the bunsen burner okay the previous the bunsen burner again i'll explain the in, whenever the gas rushes out from the nozzle with high speed low pressure the gas is coming out high speed low pressure immediately atmosphere enter with low speed high pressure then it mix with the gas produce a blue flame similarly in the gas stove also gas stove also same case gas stove also same case when out from the burner the gas is coming out with high speed low pressure automatically atmosphere air enter into gas burner and mix with the gas produce the flames blue flames this is the principle used in gas stove as well as in bunsen flame that is the application of bernoulli theorem next application the bunsen flame is explained here in this gas comes out of the nozzle with high velocity hence the pressure on the stem decreases similarly in the gas stove also the burner the gas come out of the burner with high velocity low pressure then immediately atmospheric air oxygen enter into the burner and mix with the gas produce the blue flame this is the example for bernoulli theorem next part the rowing of two boats at the time of race time two cars are coming nearest to each other then mostly it is just like for our reference attraction both the cars are will be attractive attracted each other like that why what is the reason whenever the two cars are rushing fastly when it come nearest the pressure between the two cars is more there is inside pressure is more than the outside the pressure so when the cars are come close together it will be attractive like that why what is the reason what is the reason the in between the in between the two cars the pressure is more but the air is between the car is less speed but outside the car sorry in between the cars pressure is more less speed. outside the car pressure is less more speed so the more speed air pushes the car the pressure is more between the cars so then be attractive like that it is called rowing of car rowing of boats it is also the application of bernoulli's theorem next the last application that is not mentioned the blackboard ping pong ball is very nice easy joyful experiment whenever if you just drop a plastic ball it just fell down but here it never fell down it just flying like that it is jumping in the space like that why what is the reason because of air pressure and liquid pressure first we consider due to air pressure press this 
here the hair dryer after dyeing hair dryer on uh, machine is there in barber shop the hair dryer just apply the air immediately the plastic bonds are just uh, uh, flying in the space this is due to in what principle bernoulli's principle i will explain the last experiment we will go to the next clip this is only due to liquid previous case only due to air air just pushes the plastic ball upwards here the water pushes the ball upwards see here this person just rises the water in upward direction through the u tube bent tube u bent tube it just uh, changing the pressure of the water through the water pipe he just drop the ball to in trial trial cases first he drop the, the some other pressure of water it just fell down it's not flying it is fell down next one more ball this case also the ball is fell down the third case before to drop the ball he just adjust the ball water pressure then automatically ball is in the space it is flowing moving here and there up and down how is it possible i'll explain the next clip i'll explain the next clip here on professor just uh, explain the concept of wing ball explained it whenever the ball the air flow above the top of the ball is a low pressure high speed then it coming under the stream of the direction of the ball from the tubes of atmospheric air enter with the high pressure and pushes the ball outwards okay the above the ball the air is there top of the ball air is there that is low pressure high speed but from the tube some other atmosphere here enter with high pressure low speed so only high pressure low speed means so it is gradually moving here and there because of high pressure continuously ball is there because of low speed it is slowly just moving here and there so this is the best example for the bernoulli's theorem top low pressure high speed bottom high pressure low speed so the pressure and yeah speed or inversely proportional so only according to this principle it is working next the new part we will go to the new part convection already you study in the heat chapter convection what is the convection whenever if you take one container full of water you just heat it what happened the bottom portion of the can the bottom portion of the can contain some other water that attains the heat energy receive earlier than at the top portion of water so then after attaining the heat energy if it hot if it become hot then it rises up then cold water at the top just comes down and again it just heat it heat it up this process is going on like that until this process until up to that what process this process going on means the whole amount of water in the container attains the heat energy then it rises up in the space as a vapor so only the, if you are just standing near the uh, stove you just feel so warm so while the pressure cooker or is pressure cooker is working if you produce a vessel at the time near the vessel if you are just stand you feel as warm only this reaction is convection now we have to discuss the topic detail in convection is explain when water is heated the water near the flame it's heated hot water rises up cold water from the sides moves down towards the source of heat this process continues this is called convection already studying heat lesson i think so for this some explanation is there this person some other materials a plastic bowl and wood water bottle and balloon and some other ever seller vessel and just took the plastic bowl full of cold water and the vessel some other cold water and heat it then it become a hot water place the bottle attached by balloon the bottle mouth is attached by balloon next automatically if you heat the water the water boils and heats the bottle inside the bottle air is there air also attains a heat energy because of air attains a heat energy air will expand then it will inflate the balloon that will inflate the balloon okay the inflating of balloon is only due to the air inside the bottle attains a heat energy from the hot vessel the hot boiling water next if it receives the heat energy it inflated after placing this water bottle inside the cold water 
இமிடியலி ஸ்ட்ரிங்ஸ் இமிடியலி ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஸ்ட்ரிங்னா தமிழில் சுருங்கிறது அனுப்பம் ஸ்ட்ரிங்ஸ் வை வாட் வாட் இஸ் த ரீசன் இஃப் யூ பிளேஸ் த ஹாட் வாட்டர் த ஏர் த பாட்டில் எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் தென் இட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஹீட் எனர்ஜி ரைசஸ் அப் ஸோ பாட்டில் இன்ஃப்ளேட்டட் பட் இஃப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் புட் இன் கோல்டு வாட்டர் வாட் ஹேப்பன் த கோல்டு வாட்டர் ஹை டென்ஸ் கோஸ் டவுன் ஸோ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி த ஏர் கோஸ் டவுன் தட் இஸ் கூலிங் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் கூலிங் ஏர் கோஸ் டவுன் தட் இஸ் ஹை டென்ஸ் ஸோ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி த பாட்டில் இஸ் ட்ரிங்கிங் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் எக்ஸாம் ஃபார் கன்வெக்ஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் ஸோ கேன் வி இன்ஃபர் ஃப்ரம் த ஃபஸ்ட் அப்சர்வேஷன் தட் ஏர் எக்ஸ்பான்ஸ் ஆன் ஹீட்டிங் கேன் நோ ஸ்டேட் வாட் ஆப்பன்ஸ் டு த ஏர் அண்ட் த பாயிலிங் ட்யூப் அண்ட் இட் கூல்ஸ் டவுன் டூ பி கான்ட்ராக்ட் ஹாட் ஏர் மீன்ஸ் ஹாட் வெசல் மீன்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் கோல்ட் ஏர் வாட்டர் மீன்ஸ் கான்ட்ராக்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்பான் டேக் டூ பிளாஸ்டிக் பேக் ஆர் பேப்பர் பேக் ஆர் பாலித்தீன் பேக் லைக் தட் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டை த டூ பேக்ஸ் பட் த போத் த பாட்டம் ஆஃப் த பேக்ஸ் அட் த டாப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டைட் ஓன்லி த பாட்டம் போர்ஷன் ஆஃப் த பேக்ஸ் அட் த ஸ்டிக் நவ் இஃப் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டேக் ஒன் கேண்டில் அண்ட் லைட் த கேண்டில் நியர் த ஒன் பேப்பர் பேக் ஆல்ரெடி த பேப்பர் பேக் இன் சைட் ஹாலோ ஸ்பேஸ் இஸ் தர் ஏர் இஸ் தர் இஃப் யூ லைட் த கேண்டில் கேண்டில் கிவ்ஸ் த ஃப்ளேம்ஸ் ஓகே த ஹீட் அண்ட் ஜி த்ரூ த ஃப்ளேம்ஸ் then the air inside the bag expand automatically the bag will rise up the bag will rise up initially both are in the same stage now the those bag near the lamp rises up what's the reason because the air if it heats what happen it expand expand means it just lift up the hot air less dense rises up so need to lift the the paper bag main reason is the hot air is the less dense it rises up so immediately the concern back rises up this is the best example for the expansion contraction like that next clip that i explained here okay does the activity indicates that the warm air rises up as the warm air rises up it pushes the bag above the candle does the distance of the balance suggest that the warm air is lighter than the cold water cold air just to explain next to one simple explanation is there this is also the based on convection take one plate it is just a spread with the tissue papers take one plate spread with the tissue papers immediately just spray the waters on the tissue papers simple amount of quantity of waters next you place some trace papers or the um, tissue papers on the tissue paper you place one candle you light the candle using match box now you just take on tumbler the glass tumbler if you insert or you just fold the tumbler inverted the candle the candle burns only in the presence of oxygen combustion takes place after the oxygen completely off then what happen the oxygen place the place be vacuum so this already placed in cold water so hot water or hot air that is a hot condition the candle produce a expansion but the cold water produce the contraction so the expansion contraction principle because of that if we just lift the inverted tumbler the whole plate is just lifted even if you place the two tumbler weight using the inverted tumbler if you lift this is it possible suction coax is called a suction coax suction na thookradha na லக்க தூக்குறதுக்கு பேர் சக்ஷன் அப்படின்னு பேர் ஸோ வித்வுட் ஃபாலிங் வித் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் த ஒன் வாட்டர் பாட்டில் ஆல் வாட்டர் பாட்டில்ஸ் ஆர் லிஃப்டட் அப்போ டைரக்ஷன்ஸ் வித் இஸ் த பெஸ்ட் எக்ஸாம் நெக்ஸ்ட் த சி ப்ரீஸ் அண்ட் லேண்ட் ப்ரீஸ் திஸ் ஆல்ரெடி ஸ்டன் ஹிட் லெசன் வாட் இஸ் த சி ப்ரீஸ் அண்ட் லேண்ட் ப்ரீஸ் இன் டே டைம் லேண்ட் அட்டைன்ஸ் த ஹீட் எனர்ஜி இயர்லியர் தட் இஸ் ஸோ வாம் தென் த ஹீ ஹாட் ஏர் is less dense that rises up and passes through sea so in day time from land to sea hot 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 air is flowing it is called sea breeze the, from sea the cold air is just blown through towards the land in night time land cools earlier than sea sea attains a heat energy earlier than land so from the night night time the hot air blow 
from sea to land the cold air blow from land to sea this process is going on each and every day and night day time the wind blow from sea to land that is called sea breeze in night time the wind blow from land to sea that is called land breeze which one is a cold air from that place to another place the air is moving cold to hot that is called a breeze next clip is explained a simple concept sea breeze and land breeze just to go through this say what is the sea breeze this is already in your book okay next one more application of the convection last exhaust fan what's meaning of exhaust fan exhaust means to just flush out just uh, extract out or just send out that is called exhaust mostly exhaust fan not in bedroom or a hall like that only in kitchen the exhaust fan in hotel and home home only in kitchen why what purpose the exhaust fan only is placed in kitchen whenever you reduce to heat the food the food is in so hot condition or liquids or water milk um, rice and the vegetables everything boiled then it produces a heat energy and smokes the smokes as a high heat energy if it attains a high heat energy so hot that is less dense that rises up in a poor direction so if it just goes nearest to the way fan the leaves of the exhaust fan then the air just go out how is it possible to just send the fan air go out generally you just uh, switch on the ceiling fan the air just coming from out to in here how in to out tell me the exhaust fan wheel the leaves are rotated in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction to fan fan is rotating clockwise means the exhaust fan is rotating anti clockwise so anti clockwise means that is called centrifugal force so it just vacate the hot air from room to outside so it just send the hot air from room room to outside so only the exhaust fan just brings the hot air hot air is a less dense it rises up near the exhaust fan if it is coming just to send out immediately cold air rushes up into the room from outside to inside so just we feel as so cool in this way the convection based on the convection principle the exhaust fan is constructed and is more useful for the kitchen purpose here last one homework given this is video okay i did not explain uh, there is a um, display this uh, i will send separately okay uh, anyway this is one video is there i just uh, send separate Uh, video of carburetor this is the example for carburetor the carburetor means um, already used in automobiles you know scooty uh, hero honda uh, the bullet or like that the two wheelers or a car like that automobiles which one inject the petrol and which one inject the air in which place air and petrol are mixing to evaporate or boil or uh, heat the petrol for that air is very important so combustion for combustion oxygen is very important so the air is rushed in through one hole and the petrol is injected through another hole so through the different holes air and the petrols are injected in common place that is called carburetor so the carburetor is the place that is a common place in that only air and the petrols are injected if air and the petrols are mixed then it fired then to produce the exhausted gases the exhausted gas produces the smokes then it pushes the vehicles automatically the vehicle is moving so this is a very important uh, application of bernoulli's theorem so carburetor is also the application of bernoulli's theorem so in first part of the wind the wind part first part of full and full bernoulli's theorem second part full and full convection so next week we'll discuss the remaining storm and uh, Uh, wind storm there is a storm and a cyclones like that okay storm and a cyclone like that um next uh, if you have any doubt regarding this classes physics and chemistry you just to ask in the teachment app class that is often our evening class you just to ask the doubts okay thank you students thank you